Hi guys, Kelvin here. So today we're going to use the Huawei P9 and compare two operating systems, the previous Android 6 and now the new Android 7 Nugget update. This is the Emotion UI 4.1, this is the Emotion UI 5. So let's see what's the difference. So the first we're going to look is the lock screen shortcut right here. Now you notice on the Android um, Emotion UI 5, you notice the chin is much thinner whereas the older version is thicker. Now in the older version, to change the picture, you had to go next or previous this way and you can pause that picture or play the picture or like the picture and share through this shortcut right here. Now on the Emotion UI 5, is a much different. You can actually this time swipe instead of using this convention method of next and previous. So it's much more intuitive to control. So the next difference is basically home screen style. In the previous, you only have simple and standard. Now you have standard and drawer. Drawer is actually a better way to locate your apps if you're a person who has many apps in the system. So conventionally, you have your typical, well, cluster uh, shortcuts like this. Now you can actually have the drawer app right here and you can find your app based on the name of the app and it's much easier to locate the apps that is um, well in your system rather than the conventional way of swiping sideways. Next up is the recent app which is basically the older version is the horizontal view whereas now it's a 3D view. But it's not just limited to 3D view. Here you can actually have multi view. So for example, I'm going to activate Chrome and I'm going to tap Chrome one more time, pinch it upwards until I see the blue line. Now I see the blue line that I can choose another app to open, say I want to find uh, another app to install while doing a Google search. Whereas you can't do it in the older version of Android. This is the feature that people want to do now to multitask and this is where you can get it in Motion UI 5. So now we are at the settings menu and Huawei actually refined it further to give you quicker access to certain settings. For example, now we look here has mobile data. As we scroll down, there's navigation. And scrolling down further, you can see there's the permission, memory, and also battery that you don't see it on the other side. Even App Twin is here. Now, App Twin is something unique that is you can use it for WhatsApp and Facebook where you have two accounts or let's say for WhatsApp is two numbers. You can use that one app to access that two separate accounts. So it's something quite useful for some people. But the one significant change that is highly important for me and I believe to other users is the pull down shortcut notification menu. So previously, you are limited to 9 and to access other shortcuts, you have to go through settings or other apps. Here, you can actually pull down further to see all the other shortcuts that you might want to access. And not only that, in this Emotion UI 5.0, the notification pops up in one view underneath right here, which you can swipe to delete it or remove it. Whereas in the older version, you had to go left tap right here to see your notification, then back to shortcuts to access your shortcut, then back to notification, it's just a hassle. Whereas the Emotion UI 5.0 handles it by putting everything into one view right underneath right here. So that has been our comparison video when it comes to the Emotion UI 4.1 versus the 5.0. I do encourage you to upgrade to the 5.0. You have a lot of benefits like the multitask, multi-view, the app drawer as well as this right here, the notification as well as the shortcut pull down menu. So thanks for watching this video. Remember to comment below what other changes you want to see that Huawei can improve on. I'm sure they are checking out this video. The comment below what Im improvements that you guys want to see, like this video, remember to subscribe and basically check out my other videos in the channel. See you guys in the next video.